Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless, and I'm still discovering some of the new features in Affinity Photo version 2. And I found this, and I thought it was such a great feature, I had to throw in another video right away. It's an easy way to do a mock-up. It is so quick and easy, I couldn't believe how great it is. So let's get started. I'm going to go to the Shape tool and put a rectangle right in the middle and it's a it's a white rectangle and I gave it a black outline that should be good enough just like that and now I'm going to duplicate that a controller command J and then there's one on top so we have two rectangles and I'll show you this picture in a minute but first there's two rectangles on the top rectangle I'm going to live filter and I'm going to do mesh warp and this is Version 2 now has live mesh warp, which is wonderful because they had live perspective in version 1 but not live mesh warp. And I'm just creating something very quickly just so I can show you how to do it. And I'm looking at it like maybe it's a bent open greeting card and I'll just say OK. So that's all we need there. So now watch this. I'm going to take this photo. I'm going to show you. It. I just pulled a cat. You could take any photo or any text. But I pulled this photo off of uh, stock photos. Let me bring this open the mesh warp here. If I drag it on top of that rectangle, and not just there, and it's showing you live, but just to the right also, and let go, now the cat is inside the warp. Now you can still touch that cat, and you can change the size, grow it, shrink it, to, to do whatever you want with it you can move it you see how we, on the bottom you notice how it moves around if it, it follows the warp so now I could do some text that'll put it on the layer right over the cat and I'm just gonna go like that and I have the text as red here and I'm going to type happy birthday and it follow it too follows everything along with the uh, curve so I can now move if I want to move the text around, it's following wherever the curve is, wherever the warp is. And I can go back on the mesh warp anytime, and I could still change it. And you notice everything changes with it. It's all live at all times. I could change the photo. So I can do all kinds of different mock-ups, a bottle, a box, anything I want to do as a mock-up and show people and put it on any angle I want and any kind of a warp. So I... I think this is a great feature, so I hope you like this tutorial, and if you do, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Bye.